This Etsy shop has earned over $315,000 by selling digital patterns that people can download. Midjourney recently released their new version 5, and since not many people are using this business model, it's an ideal time to learn how to use AI tools to create your own seamless pattern textures and sell them online for passive income. Creating patterns to sell online is simple and easy. It starts by using a special tool called a text-to-image AI. We'll be using one called Midjourney. You just need to tell the AI what kind of pattern you want, and then it will create a new one from scratch in about a minute. You can use specific words to get seamless patterns and really good quality images. Once you have a pattern you like, you just need to sell it online. The image AI does almost all of the work, so it's one of the easiest ways to earn extra money. But before you start creating lots of random patterns, let's see what kind of patterns other people are selling and how much money they're making. That way, we can choose the best patterns to sell and potentially make more money. There's a shop called Old Market that has made a lot of money selling digital papers or seamless patterns, which are like backgrounds that you can use for different things. They've made about $315,000 selling these patterns. One of their most popular patterns is a pack of watercolor flowers, which has made about $2,000 just from one listing. If we view it on Etsy, this floral pattern pack has a ton of reviews, which shows how often people are actually buying it. We can also see that people have used it for different things like making envelopes, journals, and printing on fabric. By knowing what people are using these patterns for, we can make even better patterns that our customers will love. I'll show you how to make patterns that are just as good in less than a minute. Now here's this really successful online shop called Digital Curio that has made over 721,000 sales. That means they've likely made around $3.3 million, and most of their top selling things are these cool, seamless pattern textures. When you sell a digital product like this, you gotta keep most of the money you make in profit, about 91% after Etsy fees and taxes. It's super easy to get started with this business because you're basically just selling a pattern you create using Midjourney. To use Midjourney, you'll need to join their beta program by going to their website and clicking join the beta at the bottom of the page. This will take you to a Discord server where you can use Midjourney to make awesome patterns that you can sell online. Just make sure to sign up for a Discord account if you don't have one already. Discord is free to download and use. Once you're on the server, you can use Midjourney to create your own patterns, but if you plan on selling your patterns, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan to get the commercial rights to the images that you generate. To make things easier for yourself, you can create your own server on Discord. This way, you can generate your own images without seeing everyone else's. To do this, just click on the plus button and create your own server. Then, back on the Midjourney server, add the Midjourney bot to your new server. After you've joined the Midjourney server and created your own server, you can start generating patterns. First, go to the chat box section and type a forward slash and then select settings. Make sure that Midjourney version 5 is selected and then we can dismiss this menu. After that, we need to come back to the chat section and type another forward slash and select the imagine option when it pops up. This lets us type in the idea for the pattern that we want. After you've typed in your idea, make sure to add two dashes and the word tile at the end of the prompt. This is important because it tells the AI that we want a seamless pattern. If we forget to add this to our prompt, we won't get a seamless pattern. Once we hit enter, Midjourney AI will generate four pattern options for us and give us some new controls at the bottom. The bottom on the right will re-roll our same prompt and give us four new images. The bottom row buttons will create more look-alike patterns if we like one of the examples above, and the top row of buttons will upscale or enlarge one of the images. If we like the second and fourth image, we can click the corresponding upscale buttons to make those images larger. And to be completely honest, that's it. We're done. Here we have a seamless pattern. It's a design that can be repeated without any visible lines or seams. But did you know that we can make our pattern even better by adjusting some settings? Let's type a forward slash and choose settings again. From there, we can decide how creative we want the AI to be. If we want to stick closely to our prompt and generate the image more literally, choose low stylization. If we want it to add more of its own ideas and creativity, choose high stylization. Once we've chosen our setting, close the menu and run the same prompt again in real time. We can do this with four different stylization settings to see the differences. You can see here the ones on the left are simple, but the ones on the right are more creative and unique. This can be a really effective way to create really cool 
and unique patterns, or you can try adjusting the settings to get the best image possible. One way to do this is by changing the stylization to high or even medium, and then add your own value of 500. That's why this is the easiest side hustle, because if you remember to put dash dash tile at the end of your prompt, you can make your own patterns easily. Let's try something different now. We want to generate patterns that look like watercolor designs, similar to those popular on Etsy. To do this, we'll add some more details to our prompt and see what mid-journey can create. We'll give it a few moments to generate the image and see if we like it. But if we don't, no worries. We can simply click the re-roll button and try the same prompt again for some new options. I've found that the mid-journey version 5 tends to create some of the best patterns I've seen. So we just made some really cool watercolor flower patterns that are similar to what's already selling on Etsy. But this is only scratching the surface. We can also ask the AI to make us other kinds of patterns, like an abstract landscape, flying cars, glowing creatures underwater, or even a mystical forest with twisted trees. Now, if we want to save our pattern, we can just click the upscale button, then click open in browser, and finally right click the image and select save to downloads. Now, sometimes mid journey can create some graphical errors in the patterns. So we can use a free website called Photopea, which is an online alternative to Photoshop to fix any issues with our pattern. I've got an example pattern with a mistake here, so I'll show you how to fix it. First, you need to drag in, then select the Spot Heal tool on the left side of the screen. You can adjust the brush size by right-clicking on the mouse. With this tool, you can paint over the area that needs fixing. When you're done, click on File, Export, and export it as a PNG file, which will then save all of the edits we just made. So, now that we have these beautiful patterns, we can sell them to make some money. There's actually several different ways that we can go about monetizing these patterns, which is pretty exciting. By far the easiest way to do this is by selling the file on Etsy as a digital download, which is really straightforward because we don't need to do much work besides making it look nice on the website. But there are also other ways to sell our patterns. We can use a website like Printify to choose products like one of these best sellers and then upload our pattern to the product and make sure that we click the Create Pattern button. And now we've got a pattern on the product that we can sell. Print on Demand is a business model that allows you to upload your pattern to a website and then sell it on platforms like Etsy. When a customer buys your product, the website will take a blank version of that product and print your pattern on it. They will then package it and ship it directly to the customer. Another great feature is that Printify integrates directly with Etsy, making it easy to post your products for sale. However, it costs about 20 cents per listing on Etsy, which can add up quickly. So if you're looking for a free alternative, you can try using a website like Redbubble. You can upload your pattern and it'll apply your design to all of the different products they offer. Some products will look good with your design, but some won't, so you can choose which ones to disable. For example, a phone case might look great with your design, but a shower curtain might not. If you want to make your pattern work on any product, you can just click on the edit button, select choose pattern, and then regular grid. This will turn your pattern into a repeating design that will cover the whole product. The best part is that it's completely free to list your products for sale on Redbubble and other similar websites like Society6. This means that you can make a lot of different products and post them for sale on Redbubble without any cost. The combined traffic of these websites reaches around 30 million visits every month. Although there is a considerable level of competition between sellers on these sites, the beauty of their print-on-demand business model is that it is mostly hands-off and passive once the designs have been uploaded. This makes it an excellent opportunity for anyone looking to make some extra money. As a seller, you have control over the price of your products, and you'll only need to share a portion of the profits with the website. Furthermore, you can upload the same design to all three websites if you wish to. With Redbubble and Society6, you won't have to worry about promoting your products or helping customers. They will do all of that for you. Selling your designs online can be a great way to start making money, and it doesn't get much easier than this. Even if you don't become super rich, it's still a great way to gain confidence and experience in selling online. I hope this information has been helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to the AI Spotlight. Now click this video here to learn about 7 digital products you can make using AI that can earn you passive income.